Now, in Jaguar Wright's most recent interview, she has been exposing everything, y'all. I'm not going to lie. It's actually kind of crazy to see someone with so much inside information come out and publicly speak about it. I mean, she was talking about things ranging from executives trying to unalive their artists all the way down to Will Smith having all different types of actual relations with his own son. I mean, the interview is absolutely crazy, but in today's video, we have Jaguar Wright exposing the footage that Beyonce and Jay-Z are hiding, y'all. No real need to delay, man. We're about to hop into today's video. Y'all already know I got a little bowl of grapes to enjoy this video and a box, and a box, a bottle of water, but make sure I do leave a like down below and subscribe. Let's get into it, y'all. Is it true that a sex girl? What sex? He, he, he choreographed that whole thing. He staged it all. And once he realized what they were willing to do for money, <laughs> he's did, a menace. Did you expect that? Yes. I, uh, that, that that was just stated actually makes me question. Like I was having a, a conversation in one of our last videos and I was telling you guys that Jay-Z is actually setting up P. Diddy to take the fall for this, y'all. Like, that could be very, very possible because P. Diddy has actually not gotten arrested. He has not been detained. He has not been, like, put under, like, uh, what is it called? It's country. Like, he can't. He can leave the country if he chose to. Like, there's, there's, it's all alleged. It's all allegations. Now, we all know that these celebrities do, like, these freak-off parties. We all know that, bro. We all know that. Every music video that Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion have ever done literally depict it. And we could go through that again if we need to. But they literally depict it. Artists talk about it all of the time. Usher said blatantly that it was, what did he say? Curious to be living in Diddy's house at that age. So the reason why I think someone has to take the fall for it and it's going to be Diddy is because Jay-Z made it that way, y'all. The gatekeepers, y'all. Now, here's where it gets juicy. Word on the street is Diddy might have had a hand in serving up these tapes to the feds. And guess who's the star of one of these tapes? None other than the... And the reason why Diddy wants to leak the Jay-Z and Beyonce tape is so that they can't have that hold over him to take the fall for the shit. That's the conspiracy theory right now, y'all. Carters. Yeah, you heard me right. Apparently, Diddy's got a knack for keeping receipts, and he's not afraid to use them. Why would Diddy spill the tea on Jay and Bay? Well, rumor has it that it's payback time. Seems like Diddy felt a little neglected during his legal battles and decided it was time to steer the pot, and it doesn't stop there. Cassie spilled some tea, too, like how Diddy allegedly made her star in his personal art projects and kept those videos on lock even after she tried to delete them. And Lil Rod, he's got a whole stack of recordings claiming Diddy's got hidden cameras everywhere, even even in the bathroom. Yeah, talk about invasion of privacy. We all knew that Diddy had some dirt hiding in his electronics, especially after Cassie spilled the tea about him keeping multiple copies of those videos. But no one, I mean no one, could have predicted what the feds would dig up. Videos of Beyonce and Jay-Z getting down and dirty at Diddy's crib. And when I say dirty, I'm not talking about them strutting their stuff on stage as Hollywood's power couple. Nah, I'm talking about some serious freak-off videos, if you catch my drift. The kind of stuff that'll make your grandma blush. Can you imagine the shock waves when news of this hit the internet, the Carters caught in the act all thanks to Diddy's surveillance tactics, and Jaguar Wright spilled the beans, confirming that these videos are as scandalous as they come. Because the Diddy, the Diddy, 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 oh, Diddy done turned over tapes, allegedly, with the Carters, in some freak out, mm. and the and and the ba and the Beyonce high on the cocaine mm. and the tapes had jizz all over it. Whoa. Oh. And get this, Diddy allegedly handed over even more tapes willingly to the feds, like some sort of twisted insurance policy. But why would he do that, you ask? Well, it's all part of his grand plan to save his own skin while taking down some big names with him. See, Diddy's feeling some type of way about Jay-Z lately. He thought they were tight, but Jay left him high and dry. No support, no strings pulled, nada. And it's not just about the lawsuits. Jay-Z's been dodging Diddy like he's allergic to drama. He even skipped his own Rock Nation brunch just to avoid rubbing elbows with Diddy. Wow. So, so you telling me Jay-Z canceled that whole uh, dinner date 
from his alleged love affair that he would have. Yeah, for the Rock Nation brunch because we had tickets. We was going. Is they refunding everybody? I believe this. To be honest, I'm saying allegedly for my protection. But I'm whack ass fucking she or just as bad as that off the power shit. Catch herself from Jay Z just so she don't get implicated. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Uh, attach herself from Jay Z's hairstyle because she know that she can get implicated. So if yeah, she gets up with some tapes that got her in it too, it makes sense. I was going to the brunch and they canceled out. So what does Diddy do? He plays the ultimate trump card, offering up the Carter's tape to the feds. It's a move straight out of a movie, except this time, it's Hollywood's elite playing the game. And while Beyonce might be trying to distance herself from the whole thing, Jaguar ain't having it. She's calling out Queen Bee for standing by her man when the going was good, but now she's trying to run for the hills. Fun. No, she was down with the devil. Ride with that to the end, that's your man. Stand by your man. You want to sing? Country song, sing that shit. Stand by your man. You, you was willing to stand by him before stand by him now. You mean? One fan even commented, Jaguar does her homework and tells it like it is. I pray she is safe and nothing happens to her for exposing the truth. I feel Beyonce is doing everything possible to protect the dirt she has on her idiot husband and not get indicted. And when Jaguar goes off, she goes off. She's out here calling out Beyonce's internet as the devil's playground, saying nobody wants to admit the truth. Um, Beyonce's internet. That's, that's what we're calling that it. That belongs to the <laughs> devil. <laughs> Unless you calling that the devil. She ain't number the employee. Oh, oh. A half of which dumbass bitch. Whoa. She's throwing out accusations God. left and right, claiming BNC's involved in some next level dark magic shenanigans. Like, we're talking hypnotism, drugging, and even doing some mess it up stuff while a girl was asleep. No, nobody would have accepted that bitch bitch. I think she's. She went and killed the girl cats. <sighs> <sighs> Okay. A girl went to court mm. and charged her with extreme witchcraft. Mm. She she was hypnotized. She was drugged. Beyonce came and she was in there eating on her and while she was asleep. Oh. No snacking on his bitch. Killing eyes to clear his path to success. I want to go to Crazy and Beyonce what? aren't just power couple. Did she goals. just say that she knows that? Big L knows how to give pipe better than Jay-Z, huh? They might be dabbling in some seriously dark stuff. We're talking ritual sacrifices and allegedly removing anyone who dares stand in their way. Remember when they seemed untouchable? And let's talk about how they treat women. Jaguar's been dropping truth bombs, saying Jay-Z's even 2016. She claims that during a wild freak off, Diddy, fueled by alcohol, turned violent, leaving her with a black eye. Ew. As she attempted to make a swift exit from the hotel room, Diddy suddenly woke up, erupting into a frenzy of screams and launching glass vases in her direction, turning the scene into a nightmare of shattered glass and chaos. Now, fast forward to 2013 and the drama reaches new heights. Diddy allegedly orchestrated another one of his infamous freak offs, but this time, the aftermath wasn't just a wild party. The explicit rendezvous left the hotel venue in utter disarray, with damages that racked up a hefty bill. Cassie, seemingly responsible for arranging the location and hiring male companions for the event, seemed ready to spill the beans, but Diddy reportedly swooped in, offering her a substantial sum of money to keep her from exposing the truth. Diddy's past is coming back to haunt him big time, and the drama is spilling all over social media. You've got Jennifer Lopez hinting at some serious tea from their past fling, and then there's Cassie, who was with him for a whopping 11 years, dropping a massive lawsuit bombshell. Damn. The allegations are no joke. We're talking about a cycle of violence and some seriously messed up demands. It's like a real-life soap opera, but way more intense. But here's the kicker. Diddy's playing the denial card, with his lawyer straight up calling the lawsuits bogus. Cassie's dropping bombs about Diddy allegedly flipping out over her dating kid Cootie, even threatening to blow up Cootie's ride. And get this, Cootie's car actually blew up shortly after. Coincidence? I think not. But rewind to the 90s when Diddy was locking lips with J-Lo. It wasn't all love songs and butterflies though. Remember that nightclub shooting? Yeah, they were smack dab in the middle of that mess. Diddy and J-Lo started off as this power couple, ruling the music scene with their swag and affection. But behind closed doors, it was a different story. Think cheating, blow-ups, and straight-up drama. When 
When describing their relationship, J. Lo said, The idea of the glass house was about how we get into these toxic relationships. You have trauma from your past. You have these patterns you haven't figured out yet. And you get into these relationships where you compromise yourself in ways that you never thought you would. Or you allow people to treat you in ways that you never thought you would. And that certainly has happened to me. And then there's Kim Porter, Diddy's on and off flame during his J. Lo days. Talk about a messy love triangle. Diddy was out here playing games with Jennifer to make Kim jealous while blowing up Kim's phone nonstop. It was a toxic mess. Back in the 90s, Diddy's rumored wandering eye had J. Lo feeling some type of way. He was always grinding hard and living it up on the scene. But his wild nights out had Jennifer Lopez on high alert. She had this gut feeling that he wasn't exactly keeping it 100 when it came to staying faithful. She even talked about those moments when she'd be low-key snooping around hotel rooms trying to catch him red-handed. Then came that wild night in December 99 that shook everything up. Diddy and J. Lo found themselves in hot water outside a club in NYC. Shots were fired, chaos ensued, and before they knew it, they were both in cuffs. Jennifer got released pretty quick. The cops figured she wasn't involved, but Diddy had to face a trial for bribery and possession charges. But that wasn't the only scandal they had to weather. Their relationship was like a roller coaster ride with highs and lows that kept the tabloids buzzing. She owned up to being in the wrong place at the wrong time, which led to all the drama. And even though the arrest and trial put a strain on their relationship, it wasn't the only reason they called it quits. Remember his rocky relationship with the late Kim Porter? Yeah, that was a whole other saga. Despite their ups and downs, things hit the fan when Kim found out he was expecting a baby with his friend Sarah Chapman. Talk about a messy love triangle. And the end of Diddy and Kim's romance for good. And then she dies out of a sudden. And some reports suggest that Diddy might be connected to Kim Porter's passing. Yeah, you heard that right. Kim's best friend, Sahara Lee, is adamant about reopening the investigation into her friend's demise. She's convinced something's fishy about it all. And just can't brush it aside. Like I felt like whatever weird shit was in him was in her. I mean, I'm telling you, his energy was so freaking dark. During like the funeral and all, all that, I couldn't even say hello to him. On the day of her death, I went over there with her niece and his security guards wouldn't let us in. Wow. Um, they wouldn't let us. And then the security guard eventually the next day like apologized. 